from Dublin, but I come to Mayo every weekend. Um, but I wanted to talk about what the situation is like where I live, because you have not seen what is coming yet, and I have. Where I live is about 85% foreign nationals. I can walk down the street on any given day, walk into the supermarket, and I don't hear an Irish conversation. I hear foreign people everywhere. My child is one of 30 children in her class, and she's the only Irish child. She came home crying from school a few weeks ago because she doesn't understand what any of her friends are saying. The children revert back to their own languages when they're not being taught. She literally cannot understand the conversations around her. But when, when Halloween came around there a few months ago, last year she was allowed to dress up. Sorry, the year before last she was allowed to dress up. This year she wasn't allowed to dress up. And when I asked the school why, they said they didn't want to offend people. But I, I don't go for a walk around the park during the day with my child anymore. I have a big dog and I don't go for a walk by myself anymore. I very rarely leave my house because where I live is so unsafe. And that is the reality that you're facing if you don't make a stand. And I understand it's really, really hard to, you know, be called names and all of these things. But you have to stand up on behalf of your children and the future of the country. The country is going to the landscape of this country is changing completely. And if you're okay with that, fine, but I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that for my child. Please, please put your children first and your country first and just don't care what anyone else thinks.